Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the champion spotlight for the newly buffed Bishop. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, about Bishop, the mutant known as Bishop was born into a bleak alternate future in which the robot sentinel wiped out most of the X-Men and mutants were branded with an M over the right eye of identification. After chasing a criminal through a time portal, with no means to return to his own timeline, Bishop joined the X-Men. It sounds to me like that'd be great to get out of that bleak future. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so Prestige is a 565, 10,550 as uh, a 6 star rank 3, 13,569. Um, Bishop's uh, mechanics, we're not going to read too much into that. Uh, he's a mutant, of course. Basic abilities are prowess, regeneration, unblockable, and incinerate. I don't know why they didn't put a comma after unblockable right there. I, I normally I really don't care about grammar. It's just, I don't know, there's a comma after the other two. You'd think there'd be one after unblockable. But okay, strengths. So, energy damage. Bishop loves to fight anyone that tries to get him with energy damage, building prowess and melting the opponent away. Punish debuff shrugging. Whenever the opponent shrugs off a debuff, uh, Bishop will punish them with a burst of damage. Careful not to bring Kingpin against Bishop's new kit. You really don't want to be bringing like, any skill champs against Bishop. He seems to be pretty strong against them. But uh, on the flip side of that coin, we have weaknesses and is the tech champs, which makes sense. Uh, Bishop will not gain prowess when being struck while fighting tech champs, reducing his defense, his defensive threat greatly. And power control, Bishop relies heavily on his special attacks to get his full potential. Cutting off his power will make things much harder for him. The following stats and abilities are based on a rank 5, level 65, 5-star <clears throat> champion. So, abilities, persistent power meter. Bishop's mastery over energy and time enables him to enter a fight with 100% of power he finishes previous fight in the same quest with. Now that's how that ability has always worked, um, which can really mess you up when you die to him and he has three bars and then you go in and boom, he just hits you with an L3. It's happened to me before. Um, well, actually, <laughs> it was an AQ. Someone else died to him and I went into it to clean it up and oh, I got L3. Like, it wasn't very fun. Um, but yeah, I kind of forgot about how, that, how that worked and then that's when I remembered it. But now there's something else. Uh, Bishop's special attacks cost no power when activated. Instead, after the special ends, Bishop immediately loses however many bars of power that special would have cost. When I first read that, I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. Like, why does that matter? Like, if you have two and a half bars and you use a special two, you're still gonna lose you know, the same two bars you would have before. I'm like, I, when I was trying to think about it for so long, I'm like, this makes, like, what, why? And then I read the dev note. I'm like, oh, I, well, that's why. Thank God the dev note's here. Uh, Bishop's special attacks not costing power anymore means that if you finish a fight with a big special two or special one, you'll carry that power over to the next fight. I assume a big special three is well. I don't know why they, the special three wouldn't work for that. I think, pretty sure it would. I, I think it definitely would. Uh, I don't know why they didn't label it there, but, um, yeah, uh, so that's cool. So you can end a fight with a big special <clears throat> and then you can carry that power over to the next fight. I actually really like that, that's really nice. Um, because there's there's reasons why you'd wanna start the next fight with more power, just you know, start with power and there's other bonuses as well, which we'll, we'll get to. So always active, personal prowess. So all of Bishop's personal passive prowess effects increase special attack damage by 10%. Always active, energy transference, 4,700 or 4,076.47 energy resistance, which I think is what it's currently at. Uh, it's a really good amount of energy res resistance. I was hoping he'd get a, <clears throat> a bit of an increase because we have Guardian who, let me let me pull up Guardian's signature ability real quick. Let's see, what is it? Uh, 565 uh, signature level 200. He has how much energy resistance he has? 8,000, yeah, over 8,000. So I was hoping that Bishop would uh, would get a little bit more energy isn't after we've seen another character have so much. So it's slightly disappointing that that didn't get increased. Uh, but every one second on receiving any energy damage gain three passive prowess. Absorbing the kinetic energy of blocking or being struck generates one stack of prowess. While time blocks gain an additional plus six prowess. And all these abilities grant plus two prowess for skill opponents and minus one versus tech. Dev notes, bringing Bishop into any fights with pesky skill champions will let him generate tons of prowess, which is really good to see. You know, when you have champs like Human Torch, who are such good counters to the Mystic class, you know, it's really nice when they're just 
such an overwhelming advantage on that already class advantage to really be a really good matchup. I don't think Bishop's going to be quite on that Human Torch's level uh, for countering the skill class, but uh, sounds like he's definitely going to be better, which is great against those those pesky skill champions. So blocking, holding block for 0.5 seconds, Bishop converts one personal prowess into a regeneration buff every 0.33 seconds, granting 186 health over 5 seconds, max stacks 5, each prowess converted also has 100% chance to purify a bleed debuff. Always active uh, debuff feedback, each time the opponent purifies a debuff they instantly receive 1900 energy damage skill champions also receive a passive stun lasting 1.5 seconds if the debuff purified uh was a stun so that's really interesting kind of like a storm x type ability when they um when they shrug off your parry um or you know yeah, purify it however they are purifying it they're gonna get a passive stun it's pretty solid that's pretty solid. It basically gives Bishop the uh, white Magneto pre-fight on any matchup where your parries are being shrugged or, or purified. There's other ways to get rid of stuns, I guess, technically. So that's uh, solid, solid addition to his kit. Uh, Dev notes, funny that those uh, silly skill champions thought they could escape from Bishop's debuffs. Make sure no matter what they do, skill champions will feel Bishop's wrath. So warning, power overload. Well, Bishop has more than 30 prowess, or if he's bleeding, he overloads and begins consuming his personal prowess effects one at a time, getting faster the longer he's been overloading. If Bishop is suffering from bleed, shock, or incinerate, debuff, or passive each time he consumes a prowess, uh, this way he also deals 476 energy damage to his opponent, scaling with base attack. So when I first read that, I was like, hold on. Normally when Bishop overloads, he takes some damage, um, which is how you kill him in Abyss. Basically make him kill himself. Uh, but I was like, I don't see that in here. But uh, I think it should be fine because I don't think they're going to change the Abyss Bishop specifically. Uh, they should leave him alone. His ability is the same. Even though he's getting buffed, it shouldn't affect Abyss of Legends for anyone. That also maybe be kind of worried about that uh, if you haven't done it. I mean, I'm 100% have done Abyss. I'm still kind of worried about it because if I ever want to do it again or you know, other people do it for the first time, Bishop... He's, he's a really nice fight after uh, Red Skull, because it's normally a really short fight if you have Doom. But if it made that fight way harder, man, that would not be good, especially after Red Skull. Um, so yeah, special attacks. After each special attack, Bishop consumes all his personal prowess passives. Uh, if Bishop is overloading, go unblockable for the duration of the special attack. Special attack 1, steady release. Uh, after the special attack finishes, gain a steady release passive for 10 seconds. While active every 0.75 seconds while near the opponent, inflict an incinerate debuff on them, dealing 773 energy damage over 3 seconds. Each prowess consumed by this attack increases the duration of steady release by 2.5%. Got a dev note here, standing near the opponent while steady release is a great way to juice some extra damage. I love hitting the opponent's block and staying on top of them as much as possible to stack up as many incinerates as I can. Special 2 is Burst Release. The last hit has a 100% chance to inflict an incinerate debuff lasting 10 seconds and dealing 70% of the total damage dealt by this special. That's really cool. That's a, a definitely a change from the way his current Special 2 works. I think right now you only get a bonus if you use it like right away in a fight. But now, um, so you inflict an incinerate debuff and it deals 70% of the total damage the special dealt. That's awesome. That's really awesome, man. You're almost getting like double your special damage on your special two with that minus 30%. That's That sounds pretty sweet. Especially if you build up a massive special two with just a ton of prowess and just let it rip. Could be pretty sweet. Uh, and then special three here, we have the diffusion wave. 100% chance to inflict a non-stacking energy vulnerability, reducing energy resistance by 1,274.04 for 20 seconds. And then this is really interesting. Against enemies at full health, this energy vulnerability becomes indefinite. So you might be thinking, you know, like, how are you going to hit an enemy that has full health with an L3? And remember, Bishop keeps his power that he finished the previous fight with. So you can start a fight with a special 3, so long as you ended a fight with a special 3. So boom, start the fight with a special 3, use it right away. And boom, uh, this energy vulnerability becomes indefinite. Now, this is a weird effect. 
Now, what is this going to do for you? So you have an energy vulnerability that reduces energy resistance on the opponent. What is that going to do for you? So I think it could be useful is incinerate damage is energy. So with this energy vulnerability on the opponent, that special two, um, dealing that massive amount of incinerate damage should just deal even more incinerate damage. Same with the, the steady release. He also applies incinerate with that. So having that uh, energy vulnerability debuff on the opponent um, could really increase that incinerate damage potentially. So very interesting to see, to see that in action. Uh, and then we have the awakened ability, which is very similar to what it was before, but there's some extra, there's something that they added, which is kind of a big deal. So Bishop repairs a unique bonus based on how many bars of power are full at the start of the fight. I think that's what it used to say. Now there's some more text. Uh, that lasts for the remainder of the fight. I don't think it lasted yet for the remainder of the fight before, so that's cool. So more of a reason to try to end fights with power. So with zero bars of power, special attacks become unblockable with a stack of 10 or more prowess. So that's just going into the fight, you know, not worrying about your power, no full bars. With one, at least one bar of power, while blocking, gain stun immunity and lose, and enemies lose 80% ability accuracy. So stun immunity is cool. I was thinking like, yo, that could be useful for encroaching stun. You know, you know when when the encroaching stun is about to expire, it just holds your block and you're immune to stun. I was like, damn, like that's I've never even thought, I never thought Bishop could be used for that. It's cool. And then this is interesting. Enemies lose 80% ability accuracy. That's a lot. And you only need to have one bar of power, and they lose eighty percent ability accuracy. I don't, I don't know exactly that how that translate because there's defensive ability accuracy, offensive ability accuracy. This one doesn't specify. So does that mean both? It's just eighty percent that lower their ability accuracy. Like that sounds pretty good <laughs> for the whole fight. Like that, that sounds really good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Uh, and then with two bars of power, special attacks have 100% chance to leave the target incinerated for 70% of the special damage over 10 seconds. So again, it's basically duplicating what the special two can already do to get even more of that incinerate damage. Again, and if you place that with the energy vulnerability, dude, there, there's some real potential here for some big damage. And then with three bars of power, start the fight with steady release active for 15 seconds. So that's the bulk of Bishop's abilities. He's got some synergies here, but I'm pretty... All right, guys, now let's talk about the synergies because he has the same synergies, but they've been updated a little bit. So there's one with Psylocke here when if the when opponents are inflicted with a passive Petrify for one second after they fill a bar of power, reducing regeneration and power gain effectiveness by 100%. But now there's a new thing. The Petrify is paused during Bishop and Psylocke's special attacks. So if you can time that... Um, could get some interesting stuff going. Now, these synergies are actually huge. I really glanced over this the first time because like, oh, these look like the same synergies, but they've been changed a little bit. So with Storm, uh, Bishop starts with plus two prowess and a bar of power. Storm plus 15% energy resistance. Next one with Cyclops, two prowess and a bar of power. Doctor Strange, two prowess and a bar of power. The next one, two prowess and a bar of power with Electro. Now what that means is if you have these synergies, man, you can right now it's the same synergies. They're just they're just toned down. So instead of one bar of power right now, it's uh, I think it's eight percent. Yeah, eight percent power. So if we jump in to a fight like this with Bishop, you guys will see that we gain almost a bar of power. But with these new synergies, you'll be able to start a fight at three bars if you have three of these synergies. Also, depending on how much power you started the last fight with. So you can see, boom, almost a bar of power. With those new synergies, boom, special three right off the rip, get that permanent energy. Uh, Yo, what is going on? Effect, uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that has some serious potential, man. Um, very, very interested to see uh, Bishop in his final form with this buff. Um, I think he's got some real potential, but yeah, I got a lot of ideas up here, but you, you guys, there's way more of you guys than there are of me. So let's brainstorm down in the comments section down below. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything cool that you think he can do or anything at all, let's brainstorm where, where this guy could shine. 
any play styles, you know, anything, anything you think of, put it down in the comment section down below. I want to read about it. That's going to do it for this breakdown video of the newly buffed Bishop. If you guys did enjoy, I would appreciate dropping a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.